let me just take the opportunity to introduce you to our lesson on simultaneous equations and in this lesson we'll be looking at more advanced uh, questions as it relates to simultaneous equations now here to be specific we have one linear and one nonlinear now what does a linear equation mean a linear equation is an equation that the highest power of the variable is 1 and if you notice in equation 2 we have y is equal to 7x plus 5 that's this equation equation number 2 and let me just state it right there so in equation 2 equation 2 I have a linear equation where the highest power of x is 1 so that's what we mean by a linear equation now we have another equation in equation number 1 that I'm stating here in equation 1 in equation 1 is a nonlinear equation and if you notice to be specific it's a quadratic equation because the highest power of the variable the letter in x uh, is 2 and any equation in which the highest power of the variable is 2 it's called a quadratic now I have in equation 1 y is equal to 2x squared plus 1 and in equation 2 I have y is equal to 7x plus 5 now by intuition as it relates to even the whole uh, concept of substitution we have stated that uh, in an equation basically you you want both sides of the equation to be of the same value and if you notice in equation 1 we have y is equal to some expression in x okay and in equation 2 we also have y is equal to the same y is equal to some expression in x rather so I could say then then y must be equal to y because if this equation is y equals something and that equation is y equals something then my left hand side of the equation if I should equate both and my right hand side would have the same value so with no further ado I, 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 I will just go ahead since I have an uh, an equation in y, y as the subject, and one also here as y, and the other in equation 2 as y as the subject, I'm going to say let's equate, equate equations, equations 1 and equations 2. Okay, now if I should equate that, then I'm just going to take what is y in the first equation, and I'm going to say 2 x squared plus 1 and that is y on the on this side and I'm going to say that is equal to y which is 7 x plus 5 now basically when I look at this this equation I realize I have a quadratic equation because the highest power of the variable in this equation is 2 and you would have learned and if you're not sure you could always go back and visit those lessons on quadratics okay wherein as we stated that when working with quadratics you should take everything to the left hand side and zero must remain on the right hand side so I'm just going to transpose and bring everything on this side so I would have a 2x squared and when I look here I see I have a 7x now to bring over this 7x I would have to subtract 7x from both sides of my equation okay now here in bringing over that 7x I would have minus 7x plus my 1 and that is equal to this 7x and I would have to subtract 7x okay that's the reason why I okay now I would have my plus 5 so I would know that a positive 7x would cancel out with a negative 7x so really what I'm left with is 2x squared minus 7x plus plus one oops sorry I should have a plus one here good and that is equal to I would have a five left over there all right now if you notice this is a positive five so to bring over the five I would have to subtract five from both sides so I would have to say 2x squared minus 7x plus one and if I'm subtracting five from both sides I would have both sides I would have minus five is equal to five minus five now I know that I would be left with here 2x squared minus 7x 
and this would give me a negative 4 okay and that is equal to 5 minus 5 will cancel out so I'm left with 0 now when you look at this you see that we have a general a quadratic equation in its general form now we would have note uh, in the previous playlist on solving quadratics different ways of solving quadratic equations we can solve a quadratic by factorization or we can solve a quadratic by using the quadratic formula okay so when you reach here it doesn't matter how you solve this okay if, if it's not specified you could use the quadratic formula or by factorization I, I chose to go factorization because it's it's much quicker now when factorizing you would know that a times c and, and if you're not if you're not clear on factorization on what I'm doing now you could always go back and and check the playlist on solving quadratics by factorization so basically I'm going to take a which is 2 and I'm going to take c which is negative 4 and I would get a negative 8 now basically what I'm what I must do I must now find factors of negative 8 when I add them factors of negative 8 when I add them I must get a negative 7 and when I multiply them I must get a negative 8 by intuition you would have now known that 8 times 1 would give me a negative would give me a positive 8 so obviously I need to change the sign on one of these and when I look at my B my B is negative 7 so since B is negative 7 my larger factor should carry the sign that B carries so now I know now that when I multiply negative 8 times positive 1 I would get a negative 8 which is that okay that what I'm looking for and when I add when I add negative 8 plus 1 I would get a negative 7 which is my B here what I'm looking for this B there so I have my two factors here I'm going to use negative 8 times 1 however now basically I'm just going to expand this so I'm going to have my 2x squared and I'm going to use my negative 8x plus x minus 4 and that must be equal to 0 now I'm going to just say what is common to 2x squared and minus 8x and I have a 2x so that's 2x so I'm taking out 2x 2x into 2x squared will leave me with a x and I have a positive into a negative will give me a positive and 2 into 8 will give me 4 and x will cancel x so that's good now I'm looking I'm taking down this sign that is here and place it right there and I'm going to say now that what is common to x and negative 4 so I would have a 1 that's common so all I'm doing is saying 1 into positive x will give me back x and 1 into negative 4 will give me back a negative 4 now if you look carefully you would have note that I have the same thing inside my bracket so we're good and I must equate that to 0 so all I'm doing now is to combine what's on the outside of the brackets which which is 2x plus 1 okay this 2x here and this one here I'm combining and I'm going to put that in a bracket and since I have the same thing inside the brackets I'm just going to rewrite one of that okay guys it's it's really that easy and equate that to 0 because I'm working with an equation so I must remember to equate that to 0 now it, it's it's pretty straightforward from here just let me clear this a bit so that we can have the space to work with just let me get that out of the way quickly oops okay that's good now all I'm going to do since I have since I have factorized my quadratic these are my factors my factors are basically uh, 2x plus 1 so I have a 2x okay let me just let me just split the screen so I have a 2x plus 1 and that is equal to 0 or or I have x minus 4 and x minus 4 equal to 0 now basically what I did was to just take out my two factors take out this factor 2x plus 1 and equate it to 0 and I took out my x minus 4 also and equate it to 0 because when working with a quadratic we know that we should always have two solutions for x okay so now basically I'm just going to just solve for x so I have a 1 being added to 2x so that simply means I must do the opposite of addition to move this one which is subtraction so I'm going to have a 2x plus 1 
1 minus 1 and that is equal to 0 minus 1 now I know that a positive will cancel out with a negative 1 so I'm left with 2x is equal to negative 1 0 minus 1 negative 1 2 is multiplying x so I must do the opposite of multiplication which is division so that 2 will cancel that 2 and I must divide this side by 2 therefore x is equal to negative a half okay so that's one solution for x now I need to find the next solution for x so over here now I have a 4 being subtracted from x so I'm going to say x minus 4 and, and I have to do the opposite of subtraction which is addition plus 4 is equal to 0 plus 4 now what I did to this side I must do to that side so that's why I add 4 over there so I'm left with x here because a positive 4 will cancel out with a negative 4 so I have a x is equal to 4 now from here in I have I have two solutions for x so by intuition it would suggest that if I have two solutions for x I must have two solutions for y also so now I need to find my two solutions for y so all I'm going to do I'm just going to take each solution for X and substitute it in any one of these equations and solve for Y the two corresponding Y values okay so now I'm saying substitute substitute X is equal to negative a half into and I'm going to choose the simplest equation so I'm going to choose equation 2 you could choose anyone it doesn't matter which now I have equation 2 says y is equal to 7x plus 5 so I'm going to just remove x and put negative a half okay times negative a half plus 5 now basically from here in that's y and 7 times negative a half will give me a negative 7 over 2 uh, plus 5 now we have fractions to calculate when we're calculating fractions we usually find our LCD and our LCD is 2 so what I have here is basically 2 into 2 goes once 1 times 7 is minus 7 and 1 into 2 goes 2 times and 2 fives I have a 10 so X is sorry Y my Y value is really 10 minus 7 and 10 minus 7 this implies then that y let me change this a bit that y is equal to we would have a 3 over 2 now I have found my corresponding y value when x is equal to negative a half now I need to find my corresponding y value when x is equal to 4 so let me change my color so here now I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm going to say substitute substitute y sorry x is equal to 4 x when x so this value I'm taking now x value x is equal to 4 into and I'm going to do it in the same equation into equation 2 now equation 2 states also that y is equal to 7x plus 5 so y I'm just going to remove x 7 times 4 plus 5 so y would be equal to 7 fours I would have a 28 plus 5 so y would be equal to 33 so that's it I have found my two x values and now I found my two y values so therefore it's now time to make our statements so I can say therefore when x is equal to negative a half and these statements are very important y is equal to 3 over 2 and in the second instance we now should state that when x is equal to 4 y is equal to 30 sorry let me just change that y is equal to 33 now if you notice we have found the values of x and the values of y and uh, to be very important it's the corresponding x value to the corresponding y value 
and here it's the, it's also the same thing. Now what you could do, you could always plug it in back in both equations to double check yourself if you're correct. Wherever x is, you put in the value of x and wherever y is, you put in the value of y. Just to check if you are fine, okay? Um, that's it. It's it's really that easy. Uh, let me just put this. These, the, these would be your answers, okay? Bye-bye.